Hello, and welcome back to California Geology. I am Dr. Robert Lopez, and today I want to talk about volcanoes. And there are several volcano types. And the first one I want to mention here is a shield volcano. And the way I have it broken down here, I've, it's going to be based on lava chemistry. Uh, remember, the type of lava dictates the type of volcano. We'll see. The explosiveness as well. Uh, the slope of the volcano, including the basal diameter. Again, how explosive the volcano is, and then some California examples. So shield volcano, these are also known as Hawaiian type, because Hawaiian volcanoes um, are classic shield volcanoes. They're very broad, um, basalt lava chemistry, mafic. Their basal diameter is tens to 100 kilometers in diameter, so they're quite wide with a shallow slope angle. Remember, it's a, a pretty fluid, runny lava that flows far from the volcanic vent. Um, and again, because there's uh, the gas mostly escapes from, from the volcano at depth, we see a, a mild eruption. So here in California, uh, the Medicine Lake volcano is an example. The next category are these stratovolcanoes. Stratovolcanoes are, are your classic subduction zone volcanoes. When people think of volcanoes, they often think of a stratovolcano, like a Mount Fuji in Japan. They're going to be primarily andesite lava, intermediate composition. And you can see they're going to be more peaky, a 15 to about a 33 degree slope angle. Um, their basal diameter is about a quarter that of the shield volcano, so about 20, 25 kilometers here. And they can be quite, quite explosive because they're, they're, they're more felsic, they're intermediate than the basalt, right? And then um, Mount Shasta is a California example. In fact, let's compare those two volcanoes. Here on my PowerPoint, I see uh, Northern California. We're up here almost at the Oregon border. And we see the outline of Mount Shasta. Note that its diameter here is about 20 kilometers. And then not too far to the east of Mount Shasta is another big volcano called the Medicine Lake Volcano. And this one's composed primarily of basalt fluid lavas that are more runny. And you can see that they're going, you know, 50, 40 kilometers away from the vent, making this broad volcano. And when we look at these in cross-section, you can see the very broad Medicine Lake volcano with a summit caldera here. And then here's Sh Mount Shasta for comparison. So you can see it's a, uh, this Medicine Lake volcano is much more broad. Uh, quite a bit of scoria is here. And because the lavas tend to flow far from the volcanic vent, we get to see these this flatter topography, hence the word plateau, a high elevated terrain. Stratovolcano, here we see a composite view of that stratovolcano. We see that there's a series of older lavas and pyroclastic units. In fact, sometimes this volcano is called a composite because you see a, an eruptive tephra phase followed by a lava flow. So there's tephra followed by lava, tephra by, followed by lava. And that's a classic example of a stratovolcano. Uh, another famous volcano is a Popo volcano in Mexico City, and um, obviously our, our Mount Shasta here in California. Now for the, the shield volcano, remember it's going to be a very broad volcano, fluid basalt lava erupting from a summit caldera here, and lavas tend to flow far from the volcanic vent. Layer upon layer, these, these shield volcanoes build up into this broad uh, volcanic uh, structure. And here is a, a Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea. Uh, and you can see the summit caldera where lava would pool up, flow out the flanks of this volcano here. And again, here is our picture of the Medicine Lake volcano here in California. Now, the next volcano I want to focus on are the cinder cones and the lava domes here. So these are smaller volcanoes. Note that both of these are going to be around one kilometer or less in, in diameter. Uh, for the cinder cone, it's going to be primarily made of these of these basaltic mafic cinders. You probably think of these as your um, as your lava rock, right? You can buy these for your barbecue or aquarium, but they're what's going to going to explode out of the volcano and land along the flanks of the volcano. Usually, these eruptions will have these pyroclasts going up, straight up in the air and then landing along the flanks of the volcano like this. Mafic basalt, most of these. And note that we're going to have um, a slope angle of 33 degrees, quarter kilometer, kilometer, something less than a kilometer in basal diameter, mild eruptions, 
Uh, there's cinder cone at Lassen, and then several cinder cones over at the SEMA volcanic field. Now for the lava dome, sometimes it's called a plug. The key thing about this, this is felsic. It's going to be a felsic volcanic dome. It's so viscous that it tends to pile up right over the vent. In fact, this is the only volcano that lava tends to pile right in the vent. And because it is felsic, it tends to trap the gas more before eruption. It's explosive. And um, another thing that this one has, you'll have the dome here that, that sits in the vent as, the, as, it, as this viscous material comes out. But also it's going to have this, this uh, tephra ring. So the tephra ring is a, sort of an apron of finer material that's going to be around this, this uh, lava dome. Explosive, monocraters, last and peak are examples. So let's take a look um, at some examples here. So this is actually a crater in, 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 um, in northern Arizona, a nice, perfect cinder cone. And you'll see the, the, out of the summit vent here, only the, the cinders come out, that power classic cinder, and will land along the flanks. And then along the, a, a side vent called a bulk vent, you'll see the actual basalt lava. So the tephra comes out of here, and then all this is loose cinder, and, and the lava comes out the side vent. Here in California, we have our, our cinder cone at Lassen, and the same example. Here, the, the tephra exploded out of here, and then out of the flank vent, we see um, the bulk of it where the lava has come out. In fact, I want to illustrate that over here on this next part down here. Um, we call this type of eruption an, a Strombolian type of eruption after the volcano in Italy, Stromboli. And what happens Again, out of the, the vent here, only the tephra, this, these power class, they go up in the air and they land along the flank. So this cinder cone is composed really of these loose cinder materials. And then the lava will come out this flank vent, this bulk vent, a classic Strombolian type eruption. And that's what happened here in California. And then this is a, a volcano that erupted in the last uh, few years down in Sumatra, on the island of Sumatra in the Indian, Indian Ocean. A classic Strombolian type cinders. You can see the cinder class, power class, uh, uh, falling down there. Here's another view of it right here. Very spectacular cinders flying through the air. Now, as we go back, uh, another volcano that I'll talk about later on when we do California Young Volcanoes is a caldera. Now, caldera is a much larger type of volcano, like a Yellowstone caldera. And we have one here in California that's very active. It's a Long Valley caldera. So, well, let's stop here and we'll finish off with those later on.